right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us today. Super excited to have you here. Um, my name is Megan. If this is your first time joining us on a webinar, thanks so much for uh, coming, stopping by and, and listening to us um, talk you through some things about Wattify. And, and in this case, we're going to have Clay Weldon talk through us a 321Go webinar. So super excited to have him here today. Um, this is our third edition of our guest webinars. So my co-host, as I mentioned, is Clay Weldon. He's the founder of 321Go Project, which is a service that provides lead generating websites, online marketing, and business resources to help your gyms grow their brand. Um, so super excited, a lot of knowledgeable information coming your way in just a sec. Um, if you're not familiar with 321Go sites, Clay has over 25 years of brand design and marketing experience. So we're super excited to have him join us here. Um, and here are his top tips for gym, gym owners and, and building a really effective website. Um, plus, in case you haven't heard, uh, 321Go Project has recently joined forces with Wattify to offer Wattify sites, which is a super seamless website um, building experience, meaning we're going to have a fully integrated system with Wattify. And so it's going to build everything you need from, you know, managing your um, your website from lead generation to SEO optimization. So taking care of all that nitty gritty stuff, getting you set up with a complete full website with uh, Waterfy sites. So we'll talk more about that at the end, um, but a few housekeeping stuff before we really uh, drop into it. Feel free to drop us a, a chat question throughout the entire webinar. Um, Clay will have some time um, at the end to answer some questions. So please feel free to pop in any questions you have during that time. Um, and also we'll stick around until the end. We'll, um, I'll include some information about a new pilot uh, program that 321Go is offering. Um, in addition, we'll talk more about Wattify sites and all that stuff. So again, super excited to have you guys here today. I'm going to hop off. Without further ado, let's uh, have Clay drop, uh, jump on and uh, share a screen and get going with it. So Clay, can, we, uh, can you go ahead and uh, get started? Well, cool. All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, one thing that I just wanted to kind of like preface by saying is the tips that we're going to share here doesn't matter whether you've got a site by uh, 321 Go, Wattify, or whether it's a Squarespace site or whatever it may be, these are just tips that we wanted to share that you can take, that you can take a look at your own site and that you can say, hey, uh, do I have what I need? Or is there things that I can do today to kind of uh, turn it into more of a lead generating site? That's what websites are really for. Websites are not really for your members. It's great to share information and all that kind of stuff, but the real important thing is to have when someone lands on your website to do whatever you can to capture that lead and then also to convert them into a member. So that's what we want your websites to do. Basically like your online, um, the digital version of your box. That's what we want your website to represent. So what we, we're gonna share is just five tips. We're gonna share five tips that we're gonna walk through and then happy to answer any questions some of these may be very uh oh, that's stupid it's common sense um, but sometimes those things that uh might just be validating for you as you take a look at your website and say okay have we done this have we uh, and then you can just have some validation okay we got that covered awesome that's good but i'm pretty sure there's a couple tips in here that maybe you don't have that maybe you can kind of take a look at your website my biggest takeaway for you guys would be is instead of spending time on this webinar and just soaking up the information, it's just really trying to pick one thing that you're going to do to take as an action item that you'll do in the next day or so to take a look at your website to improve it. That's the biggest thing is don't waste your time on a webinar just getting information. Um, use this information that we're sharing. So, um, so that's the plan. I'm actually going to quit my email so we don't have that thing popping up. But the first thing that we want to share was we want you to build your site for the first time visitor. So that may seem pretty simple, but the, but the thing that we have to really think about, it's actually not that simple, is you have to add, answer the question that the visitors are asking. At the end of the day, what they're asking is, when they land on your website is, I don't care about you, just help me understand what's in it for me. Like we need to understand what are their needs, um, because they don't care about you. They don't care about you at all. Even though you've got the best business in town, the best gym in town, all they want to know is, will you help me solve my problem? Whatever that problem is. And so we what, what we want you to do is get in the mind of that lead and say, okay, what is it? What is their problem? Like, what is it that they're struggling with and help answer that? So an example that I wanted to share is uh, one of our gyms. Um, in uh, down in Kansas City, uh, Matt Scanlon. I'm going to open this up real quick. 
And so if you look at, remember what's in it for me, um, what Matt and his gym has done is basically go through and answer that question. Use, use uh, messaging that makes sense to them. We'll kind of go over that, but just really understand that, hey, change is hard and that we're here to help you. So um, this is a great example. If you're looking for something uh, to kind of uh, model after, check out the Hill KC and go to their Getting Started page. Is the Hill right for you? We believe fitness should improve your life outside the gym. So why do it for you? Do it for your family. Do it for your career. We all know how important fitness is and how fitness affects every aspect of our life, specifically the confidence and energy piece. So if we can address that, we can address that need. Um, then we then we can let them know, hey, okay, this gym actually understands me. So that's really important as you go through and you um, and you think about that. Is your messaging does it does it really speak to that? Another tip that I want to share, which kind of uh, kind of piggybacks on that first one, is to simplify your message. So here's what happens is. And uh, I, I bet you, if you look at your site, there's gonna be the word community on there somewhere. And that means absolutely nothing to a brand new person. Um, Maybe a small, small, small percentage, but for the majority of people, community means nothing to them. They don't understand that until they're in your gym. So if that's on your homepage, the first thing you wanna do is get rid of that and, and use messaging um, that speaks to them. The lingo that we use in a gym we're the only ones that understand that. So we have to make sure that we use language that the people that are visiting the website understand. Here's another example. I'm going back to this because this is something that everybody understands. Change happens in the heart of Kansas City. We believe people can change and we want to help help anybody who is ready to work for that change. And so what's happening is uh, the Hill is using terms that everybody understands fitness would improve your life outside the gym gain back your confidence push yourself do things you never thought possible live fully this sentence right here is really powerful because that that kind of emulates a lot of what people are wanting they think that they're coming in to get strong whatever it may be and, and that is part of it but the real thing is that we all know and you all know as gym owners that really what we're doing is we're really looking to build their um fitness and um uh their confidence and energy so they'll feel better outside of the gym. Quick tip number three, treat them like a first date. So basically what we want you want you to do is just share a little bit and then get them to ask for more information. What happens is on our websites is we feel like we've got to give them everything, like just like give them the buffet and, and let them and assume that they're going to know what they want. They do not know what they want. All they know is they need change, but for the most part, and you guys know this, I'm speaking to the choir, but the people that are coming to your gym have tried a lot of different things. They've gone to the Globo gyms. They may have have tried personal trainer. They probably try to do it at their home, whatever it may be, the DVDs, whatever, and it hasn't worked. So if you inundate them with a ton of information, all it is is just overwhelming for them again. So what we want you to do is we want you to just treat them like a first date. Just make it simple. Don't share everything about yourself and about the gym and how you operate and all that stuff. All you want to do is start a conversation. So what does that look like? So here's another example um, of what that means to just share just a little bit of information. So I'm going to go here. Um, So on this website, this is another one of our clients is this is his uh this is on his um getting started page we help busy people achieve extraordinary health so so what what you're seeing and what i wanted to convey to you is you're not seeing paragraphs and paragraphs of content people do not read that anymore all they care about is skimming and they want to see things that kind of that, that kind of jump out to them um wellness community focused on one thing your success so it's very short very concise and then it's a three-step process schedule your free intro meet a coach start your fitness journey to me that sounds very simple what happens is we get a lot of got get a lot of information and we don't know what to do with it so break it down as simply as possible so you can let them know here's all you need to do right now thank you for coming to our website Here's what we want you to do to take the next step. 
and that's it. Um, Clay, I'm going to just uh, hop in real quick because I, I just have a quick question. I think some of our gym owners might be curious about this. I know um, in regards to like call to actions, right? Those CTAs. Um, what is your, what is your, um, I guess, best practice in regards to how many calls to actions should you have on your homepage on your website? Or maybe you'll, you'll go into this a little bit later or, or what's the best practice there? Yeah. So, um, so that's actually quick tip number five. So um, why don't I save that till we get to the last tip Ooh, and then we good. can cover that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's a real, it's a really, obviously it's a really good point because that's one of the main tips that we want to share. Awesome. So, um, so yeah, so we'll go through that. So as far as that, just to kind of recap, as far as treat them like a first date, minimal information, make it as simple as possible. And so on this one, there's not a video, but do not be afraid to even take your getting started page and turn it into a quick video. So what that means is a lot of people like to read, a lot of people like the, our visual, um, but a lot of people would rather just watch a minute video. Just tell me what it means to get started with your gym. Walk through those three steps with me. Um, and anything you can do to eliminate those roadblocks of people um, not sure what to do to take that next step um, will help tremendously. And I can tell you, if you have paragraphs and paragraphs of information on your website, that, um, you have to get rid of that. It just you have to consolidate and break it down to the simplest form so it can make sense to them. So another really, really important tip, um, I'm gonna put this up there with probably one of the most important ones, is you need to do whatever you can to capture a lead's contact information. Because, and so we're just gonna put right now email, ad email addresses. There's other ways you can do that. You can do it through, um, through like a messenger, if you've got live chat, we recommend that because it's free. You can easily put that on your website where you can ask questions immediately, but then they give you their information. But we're just focused on, on capturing email addresses of those who want more. Um, and so the reason why is because there are a ton of people that land on your website. If you look at the, in your Google, um, like your analytics, I guarantee you there's a lot of people that are visiting your website. And then the next question that you're probably asking is, okay, why are all these people visiting to our website, but we're only getting so many leads? Um, and so it doesn't mean that everybody that visits your website, you're gonna capture their email address, but you should sure do whatever you can to capture as many as possible um, so you can follow up with them. Because what happens is it takes at least five, at least five, typically eight to 10 times of just putting your name in front of them before they'll actually take that next step. That's just statistics over and over. Um, that's just the way it is. The first time that someone lands on your website, there's a very slim chance that they're gonna take that next step. And so, um, so I'll show you an example of that, but um, we're not talking about like a CTA where schedule your free intro or schedule free class. That is great. That's really, really important. And that'll be the last tip. But we're seeing like right above that funnel, there's a ton of people that are not quite ready to take that, um, that commitment of scheduling a free whatever, even though it's free and super easy, there's a lot of people that ready. They're just interested in what you have to offer. So we want you to create some type of value, something that you can give them that they can, um, in exchange for their email address, so then you can nurture them along. Um, and so that's super, super important. One way that we do that with Wattify Sites is we provide what we call a fitness personality assessment. So if you were, and this is a plug for Wattify Sites, um, if you were to purchase a Wattify site, um, you get this lead gen tool. So what it is, it sits on your website. And let's say someone's been on your website, so say five seconds, a little pop-up comes up and it's this one, number one right here. And it, all it says is which program is right for you, Hey, take our quick assessment, um, and then uh, and then we'll give you we'll let you know what fit, fitness personality um, type you are. So then all you do is you walk through this quick little assessment. It's an interactive thing. That all you and this is just a visual of what it looks like. Um, basically, all they ask for is um, give us your name and give us your last name, and then you start the assessment. You walk through. Here's just one of the questions. What's your overall feeling about working out? So it's a very simple, it's very basic things. Hey, do you like working out? Um, how do you feel when you work out? Things like that. And at the end of it, which is this number four, um, and three, there's actually a, like a series of 10 questions at number four. It says, hey, we've calculated your fitness personality assessment. Enter your email to below to receive the results. So what happens is we've done this on, done this on 
for their email first. All we do is ask for their name and last name. They go through the assessment and then we say, hey, give us your email address. So now they're getting value. They're now getting something of worth. You're getting their email address. You get to see the results. They get to see the results. And then what we send them is a, is a PDF report of saying, hey, here's your, here's your assessment. So this is just one way, one way to capture an email address. There's other ways that you can do it as well. Um, there's things like, um, and we don't necessarily recommend discounts, but if you, let's say you had a promo that maybe the next month you had a promotion that you were running, that's a great way to capture an email address. Another way that a lot of people do it is through like an ebook, but we found that they don't really work anymore. They're, uh, there's still um, there's still things that you can provide uh, for maybe for like new members or whatever it may be, but it's not something that really works because we're just so busy. And even if they download it, the chances of them reading it, that um, ebook are next to, next to nothing. So things like checklists, maybe offering them like a um, nutrition checklist or um, some type of quiz, like what we offer here, works very very well. Another thing that we have that we just rolled out is, is a pricing plugin. So what that looks like is someone lands on your pricing page, a little pop-up pop up comes up and says, hey, we'd love to get, um, send you to our pricing um, and email your pricing. Just give us your email address and we'll, we'll e email you our pricing. So it's kind of, kind of like behind a firewall before you can actually see it, but what it does eliminates a lot of the tire kickers and things like that. So anything you can do to capture that email address is very, very, very important. And so the last um, tip that I want to share is just including a consistent CTA. And so um, it is very, very important to include a um, call to action on your website. And so what, and another, um, this is a plug for Wattify sites as well. What we do is we make it very, very simple because on your call to action throughout your website, it really, really, really needs to be super consistent. So what that means is, let's say on your homepage, and what we typically see nine times out of 10 is on the homepage, it may say, hey, schedule a free consult. Or, um, and then when you go to the actual like, getting started page or somewhere else on the site, it says schedule a free class. Well, that's really confusing to somebody because am I going for a class or am I going for a, um, a consult? Because those are two completely different things, but we see it all the time. So. An example of that would be, um, and a, one, one quick tip, tip thing too is, getting started is not a CTA, a call to action. Because um, if you just have getting started, there's no reason for them to do that. They need to know why um, they need to click on this. So scheduling your free intro um, or consult or class, that's a, solid, um, that's a solid call to action. And so here's what that looks like. Um, so as you see, again, this is another website that we've done. Look at the call to action here. Yes, the, the wording is just a tiny bit different, but it's the same exact thing. Book free intro. I'm ready. Book free intro. So as you were to go throughout the site, that you will see that language, that call to action, that color throughout the website. Excuse me. That's, in, that's incredibly important so you do not confuse your, your um, potential member. Um, it's a very small thing, but it's a very, very important thing. And what's cool about on Wattify websites, we've got a little button um, field that you can put in what is your call to action. And once you do that, it populates throughout your whole site wherever you have that button. So that's a, so that's a really small thing, but it's a very easy thing because let's say down the road, you wanted to try maybe split test a couple of different, different things. Maybe you wanted to say, hey, schedule your free class and, and test that out for a month to see what kind of conversion you have as compared to maybe changing out some words, um, book my free intro or schedule my free, um, whatever it may be, 15 minute consult, whatever it may be. You can test things out and kind of see where your conversion is. So, so those are, those are really the five tips um, in summary. Basically, I know I went them, to them pretty quick just because of time, but the first is build your site for your first time visitor. The second is uh, simplify your message. Take all of that content you have on your website and make it very simple. A paragraph or two per page, that's it. Don't, don't think people don't want, people will not read it. Um, you don't read it when you go to a website. All you want to see is, does it, does it, does it help me understand what they do? And can I take the next step? Treat them like a first step. Again, that goes to simplifying the message. Make it very simple. Just tell me how to get started. Like, I don't want to know, I don't want to know everything about your gym. Just give me enough details to move to that next stage, that next part of the relationship. Four, 
is capture the email addresses of those. I know we covered, we, we kind of hung there for a little bit, but that is so important. That's your leads. You want to capture those leads so you can nurture them as you move forward. And then lastly is a consistent call to action throughout your whole website. So maybe that's probably the simplest thing you can do even today after this is just look at your website. If it says get started, um, if that's your button, change it to schedule whatever it is that you offer and then go through your website and make sure it's the same exact wording throughout your whole website. So just getting right back into it, um, we do have a couple questions, but before we get into that, um, I wanted to let you guys know I did send a quick call to action there in regards to Wattify sites. If you want to learn more, even if you're curious to learn what Wattify sites um, is offering with 321 Go, all of the website solutions, um, it's really great to learn more. Our team is um, fully on staff and ready to go to answer any questions you have. Um, and we have a great question just pop in from Jim. Jim, thanks so much for writing in. Um, and he wants to know, I guess he's looking to learn a little bit more about 321, um, 321 Go and Wattify and Wattify sites. Um, and I guess he's looking at wanting to know um, about the service, um, what we're offering exactly. Um, and maybe we can talk through that a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, absolutely. <clears throat> so what we do is, um, one, what, one, th one, probably the biggest separator between uh, between what Wattify is offering than anybody else is these websites that we're creating is uh, is is they're part of Wattify, but three to three to one go maintains them on a monthly basis. So our websites get updated on a monthly basis. So every month we add new features to our website. We're constantly looking how can we improve them and make them. Um, better lead generators. We're split testing, we're adding technical things. We recently took our websites from Google goes, a speed goes from one to 100. We recently took our website framework from about a 60, which is actually still really good, to an 80 on desktop and a 90 on mobile. That is the unheard of um, within most of the websites, blows away any of our competition, but that's one small thing. Another thing is we're always, every couple months, we do an audit of our framework to make sure that from a SEO standpoint that we're constantly making sure that Google is recognizing we can do whatever we can to recognize your site. So a big thing is that we're always adding new features to the framework, which means that um, it, the website is not static. We don't create your website and say, okay, hey, we'll see you again in two years. We're all constantly improving the websites. Awesome, awesome. And, and um, I guess on, on another, on a similar note, um, we have another question. Um, Marco is writing in and asked, um, how did the website work in regards to improving SEO optim opt op optimization? So mm -hmm. uh, basically, uh, maybe you can speak to getting that position on Google, getting their gym to that top of that Google search. Um, can you talk more about that? And, and mm -hmm. why that Yes, absolutely. So the way that that works is we do from our framework everything we can to make sure that when Google runs their like robots and spiders through your website, that is, is optimized as much as possible. So from that standpoint, that the code is is kind of wonky where Google's like, oh, that's like a badly uh, written website. So, and that like the speed thing is a, a really big, big influencer when it comes to um, helping them rank better. What Google wants to show people is when they actually present a search, like if you're searching, they wanna present the best search that they can so you can continue to come back and um, so people can use ads for that. So from a local SEO standpoint, um, the technical aspect of the framework is built really well. From some of the other things that what we do is we make sure that you have everything necessary in order for Google when it looks at it to be like checks all the boxes. So we include what we call like a facilities page or a location page. That is very, very important for Google when it searches your site. They want to know where is it. Um, they want to see a map. They want to see the right terms. Like, hey, what towns are you in? What, um, what cities are you servicing? those types of things and so that's how we help you and we basically do the work for you but then you fill in okay i'm in this town this town this town so we kind of do the work to make sure that it has everything they need to do that simple things like making sure your address is in the footer in the footer you'd be surprised at how many gyms that little thing is imperative google's like it ha your address has to be in the footer on every single page so little things like that and then along the way um, we're always um, looking to offer um, suggestions because a lot of this stuff, and that's a, probably another uh, webinar, but there's a lot of these things that you guys can do on your own for free, like reviews is incredibly important. Um, partnering with other local businesses to get backlinks, that's another way that's sort of outside of the website um, service that we offer 
but that we share of ways that you can greatly increase your ranking on Google quickly. Awesome. That's yeah. an awesome explanation for that. Yeah. And with, you know, with, with three, two, one go, you guys are taking care of all that. So mm -hmm. uh, definitely worth the investment um, to at least take a look and um, reach out to us and, and learn more about that. Yeah. Um, awesome. Yeah. And Ryan's given us a little plug to actually show yeah. that website. So um, yeah. So it's yeah. awesome. I appreciate that. Um, I didn't, I'm not paying him for that, but <laughs> yeah, I, Ryan, I might, I'm, yeah, for, I might, <laughs> for those of you who can't uh, see his question, he says our site went from middle of the pack to number one on Google searches within three months of starting using three, two, one go. Yeah. Um, so thanks Ryan. For, thanks for that shout out. Yeah. It's good. Awesome. Um, so I think we have time for one final question. Um, and before we do, guys, feel free to fill out the survey. We're going to send you another call to action. Um, if you want to let us know how the guest webinar went, if you have any further questions, what you'd like to see next, we'd love to hear that. Um, and Clay, maybe you can help us answer one more question. It looks like mm -hmm. uh, Alex initially um, asked, um, he's sort of, we sort of mentioned this in the beginning about those call to actions, how many mm -hmm. you have. Um, and so he wants to know on average, how many CT, CTA buttons should we have on the homepage? And then on that case, yep. do you think, you know, you sort of went through what's really important mm -hmm. on that homepage. Mm -hmm. So maybe you want to just talk through that. A, a yep. So Megan, I did cover that. I think when you were trying to fix your, um, that yeah. tech issue or whatever. So we covered that oh, and perfect. I believe, yep. Sorry I said as meant, yeah. Um, as many as necessary, as long as they're consistent throughout the homepage. Um, obviously, there's a point where it's like, okay, I get it, buddy. But four, um, three to five, I think is a great number. Um, if, if you have a long scrolling homepage, that's great. Awesome. So, awesome. yeah, great. for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then did you, we have a second or are we going to share kind of like what Absolutely. we have going on? For sure. Um, yeah. Okay. So go, go cool. It. Well, what I wanted to share is um, this is something that we're just uh, getting ready to launch for you. Uh, and um, what I want to share real quick is this is something that we're just getting ready to offer. And the reason why is because we've had a ton of interest from gym owners saying, hey, we're looking to rebrand. We really need help. What are the steps that we need to do? Um, and so what we're offering is we're offering a, a gym rebranding package. So we'll basically walk you through and assist in all the components that are necessary for a successful rebrand of your gym. So we've got a lot of gyms that are thinking about, hey, should we de-affiliate? Should we um, just make CrossFit one of our services? If that's kind of your main thing, or you kind of want to diversify a little bit, we help you with that process. So what it looks like is we're putting the finishing touches on it right now. Um, we're offering actually a special for the first 10 who sign up. We're going to offer them a little extra value so we can get some feedback from them as well. But it's something like a logo redesign or a logo design, apparel design. Once you get that logo done, you're going to want a new tee, hat, hoodies, all that. We'll design that for you. We won't print it, but we'll um, we'll work with your printer to make sure you get it done correctly. But we'll do the design. Your marketing media. We'll design a sticker, business cards, promo cards, your social media graphics around your new brand. From a website SEO standpoint, there's things that you need to make sure of because for the most part, you're going to do a website redirect, right? So you have a new website domain. You need to make sure that your old one gets redirected and that you do whatever you can to not lose your Google rankings. From a content writing perspective, once you solidify your brand and your value proposition through the business consult that we'll help you do, we can help you with some content on your messaging to make that sure that's on point and we'll help, we'll help you develop that. You'll get on a 45 minute cons um, consult with me. We'll talk about some best practices. We'll help you create a value proposition. So now that you've got your brand, um, you went from whatever to whatever, okay, what does that mean? What does it mean to your members? What does that mean to new people in your community that are looking at that? We'll help you create a value proposition that all your messaging will flow from that. So yes, so if you're interested, just fill out the form. Um, that's all it is right now and we'll, we'll send you the information. But um, it is simply 321goproject.com gym slash rebranding um, package. And I think maybe we'll share this uh, um, in some aspects. So, um, I'll, sh I'll share the link right now. But that's that's all I got, Megan. Appreciate cool. you letting awesome. me do that. Yeah, for anybody who's uh, joining, we can send you guys just a, a quick follow-up email, Clay. You can send me that, that landing page and we can okay. to, uh, take a look at all the offerings that 321Go has as well. Um, awesome. but I, it was awesome, Clay. Thanks so much. So helpful. So informational. I think, of course, you know, um, enjoyed listening and hearing from you guys mm -hmm. thanks so much for joining us today. Um, please join us again for our next one and have a great rest of your day. Clay, you too. See awesome. Ya. Thank you, Megan, for having us. Okay.